to not expect to get emotional. We thought it'd be fun to try the difference between the two. So a $2 coffee and an $8 coffee. Let's see what we like better. We are flying out today. We are flying back to the United States. We've taken many flights this over this one year journey and um, yeah, about to take our last flight, except this is quite a long flight. We have, have two different stops on the way back to Minnesota. Um, so we are leaving here in Quito, Ecuador, flying to Bogota, Colombia, and then um, tonight, we'll be taking an overnight flight to Toronto, Canada, on Air Canada, and then we'll be flying Air Canada to Minnesota, where we will meet up with Peter's family. Uh, the funny thing is, we're using United Points, but we are flying um, Air Canada and also another one, I, Avianca, something like that. Anyways, so super excited to have some Colombian coffee in the airport. Um, hopefully we find a good price on some bags of Colombian coffee because we plan to buy at least one or two. It's been so great being here uh, with a family and uh, just sharing and talking and um, it was cool this morning. Uh, Jody got to show us how the, the Ecuadorians would normally wash their clothes. All right, so this is what traditional Ecuadorians wash clothes with. So you turn the water on here. Yeah. And then it comes here, and then you just scrub it down mm -hmm. so it slants a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wow. Huh. We've loved Ecuador. We have really loved Ecuador. And we've loved this entire year. But we are so excited to go home. And, oh, oh, remember how I was like, oh, I hope the airline lets me take this, like, bag? Look, it's empty. Yes. Yes, we got everything, everything in all of our bags. So, we are... Going back with the same amount of bags. He's like, hurry it up, we gotta go. You're going back with the same amount of bags that we left with. Woohoo! But yeah, we gotta go to the airport, getting an Uber to the first spot, and then catching a bus from there um, up to the airport. Hola, buenos dias. Just kind of get emotional on the way over here. I was like, Looking at everything like a little bit differently, like, oh man, look at these palm trees. Oh man, look at people selling stuff on the side of the road. And oh man, like, look at these buses, look at the taxis, look at the mountains, look at the, just everything. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a while till we can see something like this again. So yeah, did not expect to get emotional. so nice, help us find our bus. This one to the airport. It's right here, look at that. Three dollars to get to the airport. Es Nuestra Dia Ultima. Ultimo. Ultimo. Okay, so I know I promised that I would probably get so good in Spanish while we were here in South America for this last month that I would probably do a whole vlog in Spanish. Um, pero mi español es aún así, así. Uh, pero es mejor. Yep, that's about all I got. I, I felt like we, I could say enough that I could get by and I could understand. I actually don't understand a lot more, um, especially if they went slow. I'd have to get by. But sometimes I like think I know what I'm saying and they look at me like, what are you saying? And then like when we were on our compassion visit, our compassion host would then translate it. And I thought he said exactly what I said. But they understood him, but they didn't understand me, so I guess my accent is still not that great. The flight, it was pushed back from 9 o'clock until 1 o'clock. So we take off here at 1 o'clock, and we finally get to our destination um, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. in Minnesota. 21 hours total of transit time. I can see a light shining on our other Oh, 
Oh man, so this is the message we're getting right now. Unexpected event, your booking is being modified. Uh, what? Maybe we're not flying out today. Uh-oh, what's modified? It says delayed. Delayed? Well, we can be delayed because we had tons of time in uh, Colombia. All right, so this was domestic. We gotta go to international. Your flight on the screen and this is your time. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you. So many tickets. <laughs> we definitely needed a snack before we are getting on the flight. Our flight is supposed to leave at 1, but some place it says it's delayed, some place it says on time, but we still don't know our gate. So, we stopped for a blooming onion. We just got done eating and then uh, Peter goes, oh, our flight is up. So apparently it's leaving on time. Time to go to it. You're a little too tall for this. Still not right. <laughs> it's the right height for me. Put the leg room. Yeah, I got him in the leg room though. And now I'm flying high into the sky above it all. It's nothing like I've ever experienced. So welcome to Colombia. Uh, we're not leaving the airport though, so we're not officially counting it as a country. We do have a seven hour layover here, um, but it is from 3 p.m. until 10 p.m. and we don't really wanna be out late in rush hour. So we're not <laughs> planning on leaving. We were planning on leaving when our flight was supposed to get here at 10, and then that was gonna be like 12 hours here, like that was gonna be enough. But now we'll be hitting rush hour. Whoa, that's so psychedelic behind me there. So. Instead, we are gonna find, oh, sorry, so windy. Instead, we're gonna find a good um, Colombian coffee to try and uh, probably just get some work done. And we're not going there. It's gonna go here. International Connections. It's nothing like I've ever seen. We're doing some shopping in an airport. This is strange. <laughs> so yeah, so because we can't actually go out and see Colombia, we're buying some Colombian coffee. Um, one for a friend and one for his dad. Um, but then also we are planning on hopefully stopping and getting coffee here. We'll have to find a place, but yeah. Might as well some coffee while we're here. So the person selling us the coffee was explaining that um, this one cup of coffee here for uh, 500 grams, can go for $500 in the US. Um, the one that we got is actually under this one, so it's not that crazy. Um, but yeah, it's crazy here. So $350 is what it goes for 500 grams. And then here, it's uh, 43, so much better. Peter, show the bag. What an official bag. We cannot open it until we're to our final destination. That's different. It's pretty cool. Hey, we just, we're newbies at this. Yeah. So we waited till the end of our world trip to finally shop at an airport. That's because we're going home. <laughs> Alrighty. Time to try a coffee. We're going to have our Colombian coffee experience in the airport. So we're trying two coffees here to taste the difference between the two. One is a normal Colombian drip coffee, costs $2. And the other one is an $8 different kind of drip coffee, but it's the Geisha coffee. And that coffee costs $350 per 500 grams in the United States. So we're getting for a lot less here. The $8 coffee is a darker, stronger coffee, so I'm guessing I'll probably like that better. Yeah. Lisa might actually like the $2 coffee better, so. I think I will. We'll see. I don't know if my tastes are that refined. But yeah, like this is seriously fun. We're gonna get the Colombian experience without actually going into the country. Experience it without going through immigration. <laughs> exactly. All right, so here's Peter's $8 cup of coffee right now. What is this? We're not sure. Look at this chalice. This is, yeah, it's steaming right now. She said just wait, so apparently she has to bring something over. This is a whole experience. This is great. Buenas tardes. Nice. Oh, awesome. look how this is. do it here. That's the second person that came over the second thing. What does it take to make So there's no coffee, coffee grounds in here yet, so that'll probably be the last piece, and then we probably yeah. pour this in, and it filters through. So you will get to film it. 
I really get to film it. Yeah, I was trying to go up there to and film like, it, and I didn't know how. So this is what you give the two dollars. This is the water you give the two dollar cup of coffee. This is the water you give the eight dollar cup of coffee. Cha ching, cha ching. Um, prefer inglés, pero entiendo un poco español. Sí. Muy mal. She's saying how much it is for 500 grams. Okay. This is cool. You get like a whole demonstration. I think like you have to maybe like say how much you want or whatever. But I don't. I just don't know. No problem. This is so great. Awesome. Sí, esa empresa es la mayor productora de métodos de café especial en este momento. Era un choque térmico. Fue ya. Bueno. <laughs> Listo. Okay, es bueno. Ese café es un variedad geisha. Geisha es originario de Etiopía. Bueno, es como de una región cercana a Etiopía que es de donde se origina el café, ¿cierto? O desde donde lo encontrar. So she's saying that it's the best in the world. Oh. Es el primer contacto agua café, entonces lo voy a hacer. There's a timer on the side. De manera pausada. Oh wow! No way! Sí. Whoa! So it's a timer and then a weight. Exactly. El peso del agua por el tiempo. Entonces, esto es una prehumectación. Si quieres. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Entonces empieza a activar ya el azúcar y el aroma. Yes. So good. It smells sweet. So muy exacto. Exactamente, like, oh, wow. De peso por tiempo también. Yeah, primera vez un geisha. Cuando ella empiece, justo antes de que seque, vamos a retirarla. Sí. Something about like the bottom and the like the final, so it has to like go through the grounds, like so precise and so. At the end, I think she's gonna take it away. <laughs> See, okay. I <laughs> didn't understand correctly. <laughs> there you go. I understand what you were saying. Cool. <laughs> ah. Yeah, so that's not, that's no. now. No. Okay. And this is one. Lo que hacemos ah. es homogenizar la bebida, que ya está lista. So precise. Wow. Mm, yeah. Mm. Dulce. It is, that smell very sweet. Warm water was just to warm the glass up. Ya retiramos el agua caliente. That's crazy. Wow. What a process. Look at that. <laughs> wow. That's this. Esta florecita. Tomas. Pues un poquito y luego tomas. Ah, okay. So take a sip. Primero agua. Primero el agua. Segundo café. Luego agua de nuevo y luego plato. Ok. Ah, cool. Nice. Bueno, con permiso. Que lo disfruten. Muy gracias. Gracias. Oh my goodness. Alright, I'll let you demonstrate. That like totally like tested my Spanish. I was understanding what she was saying, but like then I would try to like, and it was funny because then I said, I think that's what she's saying, Peter. And she goes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So apparently she understood some. Yeah, so I mean, it's the thing. You can understand it, but then when you try to speak it, it's a different thing. So at the, I mean, what a process to make it. So first you're supposed to drink, I'm not sure you're supposed to drink the whole glass, but. some. All right, hopefully that water's good. We are in Colombia, we haven't checked the water, but. Hopefully, I'm sure hopefully it's good. If they're, good if they're giving us water, it's good. Oh my goodness. All right, so then you're supposed to drink a little bit of the coffee, and it does smell sweet. So Geisha is, um, it's a sweet coffee. And she was saying, like, how much it goes for, like, if you bought this in Manhattan and all this kind of stuff. Um, and she said that here and Panama is the only place where this grows. I think, again, I could be giving you misinformation, but I think that's what she was saying. I feel like I have to, like, be like a wine, like, whoo, whoo. <laughs> Wow, it's a perfect temperature. Nice. Wow.
good. Best eight dollar cup of coffee you've ever had, or cup of coffee. Well, period. I was totally thinking. Remember in uh, Switzerland? No, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Switzerland, they spent nine dollars on a Starbucks. So yeah, this was definitely a better experience. It's funny she tried to find someone else that could speak English, and the other person was like, "No, I don't. I don't speak English." All right, this chocolate looks delicious. So some, some kind of fruit. I think you eat everything. This is the pulp. Oh, it's like a fruit roll-up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then back to the coffee. I like the chocolate better than the coffee. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I think you'll really like this coffee. All right, let's get your first taste. I'll go first. There's a world I've never seen before. And now I'm rising up and soaring high. Perfect temperature, isn't it? I like even hotter. I know you do. It's like good. It's like we're getting up coffee better. Well, that's because you like condensed milk. <laughs> no, but I eat oh, that without the condensed black. Milk, yeah, too. yeah. But now I'll try the. Right. You're going to like that. And now, now you have a little of chocolate in your mouth, drink a little coffee. Better with the chocolate, isn't it? Mm. All right, now, now after you just have an $8 cup of coffee, I'm gonna try the $2 cup of coffee. Let's try this. I might even like the $2 cup of coffee better, who knows? All right, let's, yeah, we haven't even tried this one yet. I feel like I should have, Sip this when it was steaming hot. It's yeah, not yeah. steam anymore, and I love my coffee super hot. All right, so yeah, I'm not really a fan of the two dollar cup of coffee. We definitely should have been drinking it while it was hot. Oh well. Maybe my coffee palette is not as refined as it could be. I'm sure it's not, but yeah, this. Would I pay eight dollars again? Probably not. Would more? Would I pay more? <laughs> definitely not. Um, but it was definitely worth the experience, the demonstration, seeing it made. This is the coolest. I've not seen anything like this. Oh, it's a video game? All right, we have time. Seriously, it's a PlayStation? Yeah. All right, that one's not working. So we'll try it later. We're going to be here for a while anyway. Yep, all we'll right. try some coffee. Yeah, we shouldn't drink coffee any later than basically then now. now. <laughs> it's already late. It's already, already five o'clock. All right, this is kind of like the uh, Starbucks of Columbia. And the samples are over for today. So, I don't know, we could get a cup of coffee, but here it's $4.50 for one. And we did buy a bag of theirs that we'll try it later. So, I don't know. I really, I already am feeling a little bit jittery. <laughs> I don't really know if we should have more coffee. We do actually want to try to sleep on this flight. I know I'm talking fast. That's because I had two cups of coffee. Now you're playing. You're all the you, babe. We just found out that our flight is delayed 25 minutes, which shouldn't be too big of a deal because um, we do have a couple hour layover in Toronto. So as long as it doesn't get delayed anymore, we should be all right. Definitely needed a snack before getting on the plane. This parfait just looked perfect. Oh, it looks like we're taking off on time. Woohoo! Come fly with me, come fly away, come fly with me, come fly away, come fly with me, come fly away, come fly away. It's nothing like I've ever experienced. First time flying with Air Canada. Alright, Peter, how is it for your back? Canadians are normally taller than Ecuadorian. <laughs> So, how is it? Looks better. Yeah. That worked. Wow, that actually ends up on you right. And leg room? Yeah. We're about halfway through, away. We're flying back to Canada right now. Then we will get back to the States. So, we'll see you in the morning. I'm tired. As you can tell, I'm just rambling. So I'm going to end this.
We'll see you tomorrow for our last morning. Yep. I spread my wings and fly into the sea of blue and white. Now with open eyes, I can truly feel alive. I don't know why I'm doing this first. You always are my taste tester. <laughs> Did you get a taste, taste test? Yet? No, he's always my taste tester to make sure I don't burn my tongue.